Moving on to the other stock that's been uh, buzzing in trade, it's uh, Datamatics. Let's uh, chat with the management on the road ahead uh, as far as the company goes. Rahul Kanodia, the Vice Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, joining us here on ET Now. Uh, good afternoon, Rahul. Thanks so much for taking the time out. The stock is up about 5% in trade at the moment. Uh, if I look at the nine months of financial year 2017, it's certainly been a marginally better performance as far as the top line goes. Also, at the operating and net level, are we seeing or are you expecting that trend to continue? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I think our, our performance, uh, in, including in this financial year, should be should be better because we've done a lot of work on controlling costs and improving the revenue stream. So, you know, you've been focusing on enterprises that are data-driven and are looking to transform digitally. Uh, what uh, traction are you seeing in your key markets and across, you know, industries like BFSI, which, let's face it, have been facing headwinds uh, apart from other verticals, maybe like healthcare, manufacturing, as well as retail? Yes. No, we're seeing a lot of traction around our uh, data management solutions, data analytics solutions, around uh, uh, money laundering, fraud detection kind of solutions. Uh, these are solutions that use a lot of artificial intelligence, genetic algorithms, and uh, uh, cognitive systems to detect patterns. Uh, and uh, coupled with that, we are also getting a lot of traction around the robotics space. So both of these are uh, getting a very high interest from the entire customer base that we have. Uh, and the pipeline is extremely robust right now. Uh, so we're looking at a very, very good uh, year ahead, actually, for us. Mm -hmm. Rahul, hi, afternoon. So what growth opportunities are you seeing in the developing markets like ours, Middle East, as well as your Asian peers in contrast to the developed markets that you already cater to? Uh, we are seeing a very similar interest levels both from India and the Middle East. We've not gone into other countries like China. Uh, but in India and Middle East, uh, we are seeing the same degree of excitement and enthusiasm uh, some of the newer solutions that we have uh, to offer to the customers. So I see no difference because today in this small world that we live in, all the large companies are exposed to the best solutions around the world. So it really doesn't matter where they are operating. And uh, so we don't see a difference in pattern uh, between here and the other Western developed markets. Hmm. Fair point. Tell us a little bit more about your order book as well, what you're sitting on currently and what are, what are the chunky contracts that you may have in the pipeline? Uh, we have some chunky contracts that are on, on the verge of signing. Uh, these are more on the business process management side. Uh, and uh, the, our Philippines operations, we set up our Philippines operations recently and that should take off uh, in probably another month or so. Uh, we've set up another operation in the U.S. Uh, in Kansas City, and that should also take off within this month. So some of the investments we've made in the last uh, one quarter or two quarters are now beginning to show results in terms of business. Uh, the order backlog uh, this year is substantially higher than last year. Uh, so I, therefore, I'm bullish about the next year because we, we are going into the year with a much stronger uh, order book that we had uh, compared to the same period last year. Okay, Rahul, good speaking with you. A positive outlook in the stock holding up nearly about 5% as we speak. That's the word on Datamatics. But Ujivan, that's the one which is also in focus. We thought we'll get uh, to the management.